July coming up right around yeah. the bend. You might be getting ready to fire up the old grill, huh? <laughs> nice dancing. Yeah. Notice I don't do that. <laughs> Our friend, the food hussy, Heather Johnson, <laughs> is here to share the recipe. Wow. Pork chops. <laughs> Nothing's even happened yet, and I'm already thrilled. I know, right? I do love a pork chop, and not even just with apple sauce. And uh, how did you cook this up? It's the perfect pork chop, right? Yes. This All is right. called America's favorite pork chop. America. Okay. Yeah. Right. And so, really, the big the thing is, is a lot of people, when they say, oh, I don't like pork, it's because they, you know, their grandma's cooked it, or their mom's cooked it, and they cooked it to death. It's okay. leather. <laughs> yes. yes. And and so so the reason you may not like pork chops or pork is because you haven't had it cooked properly. Okay. Right. And so the proper cooking temperature for grilling and for, you know, like pork loin in the oven is 140 to 145 degrees. Okay. Right. So you actually want a blush of pink in your pork chop. Okay. You know, it's fine and it's good and it and it's, tastes... And it's so much juicier that oh, way too, right? So much yeah, better. Yeah. And Do that's you what we use did. a food thermometer when you're cooking it then? Got my you little do. meat thermometer right here. Okay. So you just pop it in. You want it in the middle of the chop. All right. Okay. And so then it'll climb up, and you it's just gone. want it in the middle of the chop. You don't want to push it all the way down so okay. it touches the That's oven. how I used to get off school. <laughs> Using a meat thermometer? Well, you got a 140 degree temperature. <laughs> um, and so what we did today is the America's Favorite Pork Chop has a great marinade, and it's super simple. Okay. All we do is we take Italian dressing, okay. whatever, cheap stuff, and you just... Pour it Just in there. Just flood it in there. Mm. Yep. All right. And then you throw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. smell. Like that just smells uh, like meat. It it's probably. my favorite smell in the whole world. Yep. That and garlic. That's an interesting combo That's all, there. huh? That's it. And then you marinate this. You want to marinate it for about at least a half an hour, but ideally you're going to marinate it overnight. I was yeah. going to say, is it best to kind of stick that in the Plan fridge that way? Yep. Stick yep. it in the fridge, okay. cover it. I put it in a Ziploc bag and cover it. And then you pop it on your hot grill. Okay. Yeah. So you want to have your grill hot. Okay. And then after the grill's hot, you want to have indirect heat for your pork chops. So you want to, I kind of baby my pork chops because oh. I don't want to, yeah, I know. Oh, oh pork chop. <laughs> it's so sweet. But the thing is, is I want the grill marks and I want the caramelization, yeah. but I don't want it to be leather. So and how so do you, you go, when try. you say go indirect, you put it on like so, the, 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 you know, if you've got a gas grill, you put it up on the top part or what do you do? I have do? three burners on my gas mm -hmm. grill. Yeah. So I, ha I heat all of them up at first. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when I get ready to put my pork on, I turn two burners off. So I just have one burner oh. on and then I put the pork on so it gets a little sear mm -hmm. and it gets sure. a little of that color and then I move it off to the side. Okay. And then in about four or five minutes, I flip it, move it on the hot again just to get that sear, that color on both okay. sides and then move it back off nice. and let it cook up to temperature. And you're only going to cook it about eight to ten minutes for a chop that these are about three quarters of an inch thick. This yeah. is super tender. Isn't it good? Yes. Well, and, and, it melts in your mouth. And I'll try that marinade too, because that's easy. You usually, I wasn't joking. I usually, I'm shaking bacon if I'm doing a pork chop. Mm -hmm. So this is. That's as easy as shaking bacon. Yeah, that is. It's that's so simple. So simple. Like simple. So we like, and the thing is, is it's great for 4th of July. You've mm -hmm. got all these cookouts, and this is something that, it's different. Oh, it's really it's good. I know. Yeah. And it's, it's different than hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. It's so much juicier and so yeah. much more flavorful. And like, I went down to the meat market that we have in Milford, yeah. and I said, hey, can you cut me some chops? Like, I'm an Iowa girl, and we have an Iowa chop right yeah. it's our thing it's our thing yeah we like pigs sure. and so we have like an inch thick chop and so I just asked for Iowa chops well, thank you Heather we have the recipe at local12.com although it's super easy a little bit of this a little bit of that yeah we'll be right back well Max get in here get some got a lot of John John's coming get some pork chop <laughs> <laughs> you know what that